right, new version. Let's watch this in full. No sound. Looking very cool, though. I watched this before, Al. We have just general timing notes on, I think, three areas. It's very cool, though, I have to say. I think that timing of the jump is really great. The hold, and then that drop is great. I love you got that stuff in there in terms of the face. I love that pose, holding all that. It's great. I think on the picky note, I will probably keep this here and then outstretch it a bit more and then keep it longer in that. And then you start to go up there. So it has like two more frames of hold. If you watch that arm, it's very light. And I think it would help with that push off and then that arm push off by holding it two more frames, I would say. And this is great. I love that that turn into a jump. Also with this pose, it's great. She's a bit too crazy at this point. Like, ah, ah. So I would relax probably the face at this point. And it's okay to open the mouth. This is a big, big moment there. And it's a bit forced to have the mouth closed there. But I love that. It just makes, it adds the energy. And she would still have that energy momentum. So they have the little extra jump. And then to come down a bit low into this. I think it's great. I like this, that there's business. And she does some stuff here, but it's almost like we're expecting something, like like a second character to run next to her. That's very subjective here, but I'm not sure if we need it. I do like, you know, extra business like that, but what is she looking at? And she never gets back to that moment. So it feels always a bit misleading. But it's all cool. So here's the biggest note, is this feels light. And I think it's just that, the, the frames of getting up here and then suddenly accelerating through there. If you watch this here. It's just that sudden speed up. It doesn't quite compute. Even though she gets low, there's something about... There's something about this that feels light. And... It's like I would add two or three more frames of the body down just a bit longer. I know we're already in that in that stretched out position. But then she will get to that position, if that makes sense. Just a bit. I just need a little bit more. A little bit. You know, there's, there's such a drop in this. And what you can see here in the spacing, if I put on onion skinning, is how the chin drops and then bang hits that wall. So if you imagine you go down, down, next frame, it's a little bit lower. I oh, can't even draw on it. A bit lower than what we have there. So which adds to that being a bit more compressed. And she would have to have, you know, here a bit lower. I know there's a camera move too, but then you can shoot and catch up i think that's going to help that's to me the biggest thing like, these are all great stuff like little detailed things like big eyes kind of defaulty eyebrows nothing in the mouth there but great stuff that's just like that felt light that i think works already better timing is great just here Right there again. It's almost like you want to hold this up here a bit longer. And you can see the spacing, how it's small, 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 small. And then suddenly, right there, it's a bit too big. It's literally like a frame or two. Probably two frames for me. Yeah, it suddenly feels like, and pull down. Because I don't mind having then a speed up through there, just that. There's a sudden speed up there, and you can go a bit more gradually. Again, just by two frames. Then I will buy a bit more of a salad. And that's okay. That's cool. The editing is good too. If I be picky, he feels light. 
I think I will bring in this hands already. It could almost be telegraphing that I am about to catch you with my ginormous hands. You know, and then I would be further in already out here. And then turn off one skin here. Turn it off. There you go. And then still big, big, basically, you know, on this kind of range. It just comes out. A feels a bit you know, parallel, and then yes, there's there's a shape asymmetry, but it comes out in a couple of frames, and you have that kind of elbow pop through there, and then it's out there. And I think if you watch this in real time, pa boing, really fast, and you want to have a little bit more contrast between these two. So to me, having that arm come in, it's almost like what is this? Oh, it's telegraphing. I'm about to catch you with my hand. I think that would be totally fine. <sighs> And then this one felt fast. It's almost like a little bit longer, around a frame or two. And then let me see. You have to add frames. I wouldn't just make it longer and subtract from the drop. It just you want to have a little bit more of a. Just a bit longer up there. And then. And then. I think what adds to it, you're easing into this. You're easing in. Maybe it's also because you're rotating back. I'm sure that's part of it too, but it feels like a slight ease in there. Yeah. Maybe that's what makes it light too. So give this maybe right through there. She would be like here. She would be maybe here. And then not ease into this. It'll really make that. And then, boom! Then you would feel that sudden, boom! And even here on that jump up, I would give this two more frames. It's just a little bit. You want that much compression? You're gonna have a little bit more continuation on that momentum, and then drop. Ta -da! Beautiful pose, nice line there. Could potentially even push it a bit more. This might be much, but let's push that maybe a bit more. And that is that. It's very, very cool. Compared to that very first version, it's huge progress. I love it. Alrighty, thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.